Hey fifth graders! So today we read this story, Someday a Tree, by Eve Bunting in reading. And now we are going to use one of the author's crafts that she discussed or that we discussed on personification. And we are going to apply it now in our writing and look at how it could be used in poetry as we are exploring more poetry as writers. So personification is a form of figurative language that attributes human thoughts, actions, and characteristics through non-human things or objects. And some examples from this story were when the community members came together and um, Alice noticed that people were treating the tree as if it was a human that was sick, doing things such as wrapping a scarf around it or bringing soup to it, giving the tree a balloon in hopes that it would help it feel better. These are all examples of personification. So now for our work today in writing, we are going to read some more examples of personification and explain them. This is our assignment that is attached to this lesson for today. And the directions are to explain the personification in each of these sentences. Let's check out the first one together. The first one says, at the first sign of morning light, the alarm clock rang with glee. So the object that we are talking about is the alarm clock and that it rang with glee. Glee is a human emotion or a human trait that we are, that we are using to describe the way that the alarm clock is ringing. So the personification isn't or is that the alarm clock is ringing very excitedly like a person might act with glee. And, and the picture that we are getting, that figurative language in our head, is how a person might act with glee and it, putting that onto how an alarm clock might look. We really know that alarm clocks cannot feel emotion, but when we tie those human emotions and human actions onto it, that is an example of personification. So now you are going to get to fill in the rest and look at how you interpret the personification in each of the other three sentences. So number two says the old sofa sat with a slouch in the middle of the room. What does that mean? Explain it. Number three, the old cat marched into the room and demanded his dinner. How did we give the cat people-like attributes? And number four, from outside his window, a chorus of birds cheered him on. Can't wait to see what you come up with and ask questions if you need any help. Awesome job.